Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsus T and welcome back to Factorio. I am here where we are loading coal. Last time we uh, dealt with our power issues, set up a second nuclear plant uh, so that we could then finish the work on moduling up our production for yellow and purple signs. Purple looks good. Uh, we're backed up here. I think that's the second one on all three factories. Only the yellow one, they are not yet backed up. You're still producing, but they are producing in the meantime. Uh, there have been some issues with supply and it's not one singular issue. Um, we had a thing where we missed petroleum, we missed coal, we missed lubricant, we missed uh, sulfuric acid. So. A lot of these things, save the, the coal, are tied to our petroleum uh, refinement pipeline. So that's something we want to, uh, to fix today. And you can see here, for the coal, I added two more waiting bays. Because one of the problems that we have here is we have 10 trains that want to load. Um, we only have one loading station. So in order to fix the, the problems or the bottlenecks that we have, um, let's hook up this secondary coal field. So we have more a second loading station for the coal. That should definitely help. And then down here we have a larger coal field and uh, I think we will use this one for coal liquefaction um, so that we can get more of the oil products out of it. And we probably also should uh, add a bit of logistics to control the uh, stations here because here we can see trains are waiting for loading petroleum, which we don't have. But if we look here, yeah, here we are also empty. And we are also empty on crude oil mostly um, but I have seen situations where these tanks were full and all trains were going to to this station so we want to distribute the trains uh, towards the stations that actually have things to load so I think I will figure out the situation with the coal field first uh, then we can um, can have a look at uh, at the logistics of our existing station before we add another oil processing setup at the other coal field coal loading station the second one is in here and hooked up with a bit of logistics. So we want to have that on the other coal field as well. For the fluids, uh, logistics, that's a two part thing. So we need it on, on one side uh, where we are delivering. There we already have it for sulfuric acid uh, and petroleum. But we are, do we have it here? 
we do have it here um, for the uh, the lubricant and I'm just wondering this train can hold one tank so probably having it uh, at that level might be a bit overkill especially as we are not using that much so let's copy this and apply it to all those stations um, there are a few more uh, where we have lubricant I think yeah here we have another one and here so that should help with trains going to stations that have a lot of lubricant while other stations that are empty uh, don't get any trains and because uh, these stations are almost full the train sits there a long time um, while it actually could um, do something better and go to a station where the lubricant is more dire need direly needed so then here I want to have uh, something similar for the pickup so if we have 20,000 in there um, or here we could reduce it to let's say 7,000 because we have four tanks and that would then enable us to basically fill in almost a, a complete complete tank there um, for these ones it's a bit diff more difficult because the the storage tanks are not right next to to where we want them so what we will do is we will add a bit of pipe going on there let's have that here and then hook that up to here to here also the uh, the sulfuric acid and on this one on this one and on this one so here again sulfuric acid seven thousand and we want to have more and here light oil Um, more than 15,000 I think there we have two tanks one tank
and we need to hook up the tank itself and then this one lubricant let's also make this 15,000 here we also have only one tank Then here this one we already did and then down here we will copy this station to there but reduce it to for the thousand because we have even more tanks to store the petroleum and this one is now disabled because we don't have any petroleum stored here on the side so the last thing I want to do before we uh, look at the other coal field is set up uh, our initial coal field with logistics like we did at the uh, at the one at the at the top that we created newly so it should not be a big deal um, maybe I need a few more wires And then we can go up here, copy, paste. Nice. Now let's head down to here and see what we can do. Um, or maybe we should first um, craft ourselves some refineries. Um, that we will need for the for the liquefaction of the coal. We have the mining field and we have loading stations for petroleum as well as lubricant. I did not add a station for light oil or for sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid also needs uh, uh, needs uh, iron or copper one of the two iron and don't want to make it too complicated right here but here we have a bit of space that we can use to make this happen and if we do it this way we can basically set it up like this And if we add productivity in here, we can add two beacons here on the side and here on the output we also need a bit of uh, pipes going and of course 
We also need uh, coal input. Let's see, we need 10 coal. Five second input. Let's do it that way. And we can have input here. Extend that to here. Input there. And have Ah, uh, that does not... Wait! We can fix this. This way. And we can have our cookie and eat it at the same time. So... Nice. That's that. So let's copy this. Till here. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Did not copy that part. Sloppy of me. Of course, I'm lacking undergrounds and other materials. And we also need to consider how we can power all this. Let's do it this way. Last one. There. And then, of course, we need to bring the uh, the heavy oil back in here. So we can have this this loop going. We will have the coal going to there. And then split into two yellow belts. And we will on this side we will combine the output. Um, oh, yeah. Let's do the looping around for the heavy oil and uh, the collection of the light oil on this side. On this side, we can uh, have the petroleum gas because that one wants to go into those tanks. And then we have a bit of space up here and here. And maybe we will use a bit of landfill there for the 
for a few chemical plants to uh, refine the um, the heavy and light oil down to uh, whatever we we need there. But first, I will stock up on material so I can finish this build. I have completed the setup down here. First we do have uh, some boilers that pick coal from the coal belt so we get the necessary steam that we need for the oil cracking. And then as mentioned here on this side we have the output of the petroleum gas from the refineries and everything else is combined here on this side. We have these two tanks where we collect the heavy oil and prioritized um, pump it in here in this in this middle lane uh, where we kickstart the, the process there. Uh, the light oil that's this one goes through here and this is then also the output line of the chemical processing where we break down heavy oil to light oil and then here we have light oil to petroleum gas both needs water everything gets its own water pump and here on the side we have one lonely chemical plant for lubricant. I think that will be sufficient, um, but we will see. And to, to kickstart things, we need to feed in a bit of uh, heavy oil. And I do have that here in some barrels. So let's empty those 42 barrels. 43 and then we see the whole thing kicking off and here we control the, the, the thing a bit with uh, this logistics so only if we have more than 5,000 heavy oil in here uh, we pump into this secondary tank and from there um, we go to, uh, to uh, the, uh, the refinement uh, as well as then here for lubricant production. And by the looks of it we are accumulating things here. question here is we're, we're looking good not continuous processing because we don't have enough heavy oil and here similar similar picture we might not have enough light oil we also pump it uh, out of uh, the uh, system here on this and this side it's for that part and it should even out somewhat um, for the for the other side and we get quite a bit of oil out here mm, looks like the belt is not fast enough Um, so a yellow belt does not suffice to, uh, to fill all the, uh, the refineries in here and if we were to update let's do it to there Um, we do not get a full belt, a full red belt, which is move things 
faster along so that maybe the distribution of the refineries is a bit bit different uh, but maybe we should have considered that and had two dedicated belts instead of one but that's a thing we can easily fix so that should solve the bulk of the issues that we have here so if we're looking where do we have um, non-red stations we have one here that's for petroleum we have dealt with that uh, the, this one here wants to go to a loading station but there is none free we will sort that out shortly there we have a lubricant so everything seems good at the moment if we look at our ore patches uh, we have copper copper uh, then iron here the iron down here that's uh, finished mined and the uh, the copper that we still have in here is also almost gone the iron patch from here that's completely gone and down here um, there is also not that much iron left so I think we should think about hooking more iron up to our network but I think we'll leave that for next time until then goodbye